Tryouts are at 4 p.m. for the rugby team, or as I call it, the couldn't make the football team team. <laughs> The yearbook will be taken tomorrow. Please remember not to wear anything tacky. I'm talking to you, Drama Cub girls. Can't you at least act like you know how to dress? The 0-16 Ernie C basketball team plays Thursday. It's not golf, guys. Low score doesn't win. <laughs> Our own Mr. Shepard has started a ventriloquism club, proving once again he knows exactly what kids don't want. <laughs> Today's cafeteria special is the Swedish meatballs which I bet tastes just like the meatloaf, but in ball form. I have news for you. Putting toothpicks in something doesn't make it fancy. Swedish meatballs, the food that tastes like sadness. <laughs> Those were the morning announcements. This is Mandy and Mad Goat saying, keep your face out of the water fountain. <laughs> Talk to me. Can I ask you a quick question? I'm always here to help the little people. Shoot. Did you tell Karina that she can use my office as a bedroom? Uh, did I tell her? I may have suggested it and maybe gave her the key. I'm, I'm a problem solver. My office is not a flop house. She thinks she lives here. It's not that bad, DJ. There's people with real problems. <laughs> Michael, this is not a problem. Oh, having no food is a problem. Supermodel sadness is just... Oh, annoying. If ordering for food gets me pizza, if it's not crust, yeah, I'm not carving it. Don't worry, my next plan's already in motion. Stop hogging the phone. It's not fair for your roommate. We are not roommates. Good, then you move out. <laughs> Hello? DJ no home now. <laughs> Mr. Shepard, <laughs> you want to see us? You heard our announcements, right? And you couldn't wait to heap praise on us? Actually, no praise this time, guys. You took things too far. Oh. oh. I went to the cafeteria and saw the lunch lady crying. Crying? I mean, evidently, her Swedish meatballs come from an old family recipe that was passed down from generation to generation. Wait, the recipe or the meatballs? Now might be the right time to turn it off. She was really hurt that you mocked them over the airwaves. You guys were really mean this time, to everyone. We were just making jokes. There's a couple of different kinds of jokes. The good-natured barb, like the one about the science pavilion. No harm, no foul. And then there's the more personal joke, which really hurts people's feelings. We weren't trying to hurt anyone's feelings. You guys have a lot of people to apologize to. I'd start thinking of some ways to make it up to them. Thanks. Mmm, fancy. Again. Hey, Wilder. Thanks for being really direct in your peer review. I'm not sure if I was clear on the things lacking in your work. I want to be just as helpful as you were. Help away. I looked at your recent articles. I have some thoughts. Do any of them involve me blasting through these cyborgs? Yes. In your last game review, you said this game was arg u -ai. Those aren't even real words. What kind of journalism is that? Try it. arg u -ai. <laughs> See, my methods might be wonky, but I reach my readers in their own language. I'm connecting. I'm not sure onomatopoeia is the best way to connect with people. On a what? Are you using big words because you're mad at me? That's a first call accusation. See, you're mad at me. You're an amazing writer, Baxter, but when you write, I don't always connect to the story. Too much word processing, not enough feeling processing. Feeling processing? That doesn't even make sense. I'm going to go and finish my story on the food drive, using all real words, by the way. <sighs> uh, oh! Oh! <sighs> well, that's it for this week's article. <sighs> Do I dare? Yes! <gasps> Michael, you're not understanding. My life is tough. Job terrible. My roommate is running some magazine in my bedroom. Why have only bad things happen to me? It's not that bad. I mean, you have an agent with perfect teeth. <laughs> you just ran into some bad luck. Why? Why am I so cursed? Enough! You're not cursed. You're just being self-absorbed. That's my specialty. Self-absorbed is Mottle's job, too. You had bad luck, Karina. You're more interested in wallowing in your misery than helping yourself. There are people with real problems. What problems? 
Just a food drive for people who can't afford groceries. Now that's a real problem. And why am I here helping you instead of helping them? Because I am need your help. No, you am need my attention. And the attention spigot is off. <laughs> I'm gonna help people with real problems. Karina, he has real problems. <sighs> Ooh, still stinking. This water bottle shower. Mmm, it's better. <laughs> okay, I admit it. Your peer review is still bugging me. What's wrong with my article? I didn't say there was anything wrong with your article. Yeah, it's good. Ernie Coombs collected almost 500 pounds of food, twice as much as last year. That's a great story, right? It is a great story. But now you're going to tell me it lacks heart. No, I'm just saying, it might not just be about food weight. Look around, Bex. There's more here than piles of cans. Ooh, baby carrots. There is a bigger story. All this food, all this effort, the volunteers, the kids, the people being helped, that's how I can connect to my readers. Now that's an interesting story. Is it awestruck? It's awestruck. Highlighted. <laughs> Attention all food drivers. We have an apology to make. We took things a little too far today. We got excited that people liked our humor and made some jokes that were just plain mean. So we want to apologize to the lunch lady. We're really, really sorry. I tried your Swedish meatballs and they really are the best. And since it was our snarkiness that created this problem, we're gonna take a swig of our own medicine. That's right, Ernie C. We're turning the hoses on ourselves. Mandy versus Mad Goat, insult off. You ready? I was born ready. The way you were born gangly. <laughs> oh, really? Maybe you should get your daddy to buy you a better joke. No, he's too busy investing in a cure for your bad breath. You're making girls nauseous. I saw your skirt on Glee List for $8. It looks like you cut your own hair with a stapler. Your teeth are too big for your mouth. Your body looks like a parking meter. Your weave is made out of horse hair. <laughs> <laughs> this is Mandy and Mad Goat. Coming to a detention hall near you. I will say, it feels weird helping people that aren't me. Weird in a good way? Definitely. Wish I brought a change of clothes. I don't want to glisten in this shirt. It's called sweating, Michael. Michael, you were being correct. Much helping's be done. This is the most rewarding experience. You see? Helping people feels good. Did I just say that? No, not the helpings. If our camera saw me coming in, good press. They like me helping, and they offer me job hostessing TV. Wow. I met network owner, finding love, getting married, moving into mansion, all today. See, great agent, great things happen. Oh yes, about that. You're fired. <laughs> Karina is back. Fired? After everything I did? I tried to do what was right, and it turned into nothing. No, it didn't. It brought you here, to the food drive. Everybody wins. And sometimes, the person you end up helping is yourself. Well, I do like helping myself. <laughs> now I'm going to go help deliver this food. Want to come? I'd love to. <laughs> wow. I never thought I'd see the day when Michael Davies wasn't being self-centered. Thank you, but I prefer Michael Hollywood Davies. <laughs> Who do you think I'm trying to start? You could start by actually going to Hollywood. So, what do you think? I love it. The family angle is wonderful. It really tugs on the heartstrings. I know. Someone already told me. <laughs> it's just so. It's so. Sometimes the person you end up helping is yourself. That's so true. Just so you know, Rebecca, I'm taking your advice too. I'm really trying to focus more. <laughs>